Hello boys and girls, my name is Mr. Myers and I'm here to read you a story. It's called Otter Be Brave. It was show and tell time in Otter Be's class. He and his friends gathered in a circle as Miss Wood called Felicia up to the front. Felicia always brought something interesting to share and she was good at telling stories. Otter Be wiggled with excitement. Felicia stood in front of the class and zoomed her toy airplane over her head. My Aunt Francine is a pilot and she gave me this plane, Felicia explained. There's a red lightning bolt on the tail. That's why I named it Lightning. She took a bow and everyone clapped. Then Miss Woods pulled a name from a hat. Tomorrow will be Otterby's turn to bring in something special and tell us about it. Otterby gulped. His tummy felt fluttery. His knees felt shaky. I don't want to do show and tell, he whispered. Roscoe leaned closer. Don't be shy, Otterby, he said. But Otterby felt very shy. Felicia swished her fluffy tail. I think talking in front of the class is fun. It didn't sound fun to Otter B at all. Tabitha pulled her head into her shell. You could pretend to be sick tomorrow and stay home, she suggested. But Otter B was pretty sure lying would only make him feel worse. On the way home from school, Otter B talked to his best friend, Franklin. What if I forget what to say? Otter B buried his face in his paws. What if everyone laughs at me? Franklin thought for a moment. Well, it wouldn't be everyone, he said, because I would never laugh at my best friend. Franklin winked, then hopped up to his house. That night at dinner, Otter B told Mama and Daddy about show and tell. I'm going to be all by myself up there and everyone will stare at me. Daddy put down his fork. You know, he said, sometimes I feel nervous when I have to talk in front of people too. Like when I give a presentation at work. Otter B stared at Daddy. You? Daddy smiled. Sure but God says he's always with me. Remembering that helps me feel brave. Mama nodded, that's right. And God always gives us friends to help us feel less afraid. Think of all the good friends in your class. Otter B suddenly sat up straight. I have a great idea, he announced. Can I please be excused? He sped off before Mama could even answer. She and Daddy chuckled as they watched him scamper to his room. The next morning when it was time for show and tell, Otter B grabbed Franklin's hand and pulled him up beside him. Hey, what's going on? Franklin asked. Otter B held up a picture he had drawn the night before. My show and tell is a picture of Franklin and me, he explained. Franklin blinked, then beamed. He's a really good friend because he helps me and cares about how I feel. I brought him up here with me because I was scared to do show and tell alone. And daddy told me God is always with me too. So now I feel braver because I don't have to do it all by myself. Otter B and Franklin sat down and nobody laughed at them. In fact, everyone clapped and cheered. It wasn't nearly as scary as Otter B had thought it would be. Actually, 
It was so much fun that Otter B thought he might try being brave again. If you are feeling nervous and you're shaky in the knees, try asking God to make you brave. It's how you otter be. And there's a Bible verse in this book, Joshua 1.9. It says, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. And that's very true, boys and girls. God is always with us. He loves us, cares for us, and there's nothing he wouldn't do for us. So uh, if you're feeling a little scared right now, just ask God for help and he'll make you brave. And thank you for reading with me and you have a great day. Bye-bye.